Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and today we are previewing the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0. What we have here is a prototype unit which we are about to take a closer look at. In terms of specs, it has a 7-inch capacitive touchscreen display just like its name suggests. The processor inside it is a dual-core chip clocked at 1GHz, there's a front-facing VGA camera and on the back we see a pretty basic 3.2MP camera. The Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 is constructed entirely out of plastic, yet thankfully it feels well put together so we are pretty content with its design. Besides, it weighs only 344 grams, which makes it one of the lightest 7-inch tablets out there. And uh, its weight has been distributed evenly so the device doesn't feel awkward regardless of the orientation you're holding it in. We should also point out that its back cover is practically immune to visible fingerprints. On the left side of the device we see a slot for microSD cards up to 32GB in size and a SIM card slot which of course is only available in the Wi-Fi plus 3G model. On the right side we have a lock key and a two button volume rocker and both of them are relatively easy to locate with your thumb. On the top side reside a 3.5mm headphone jack and a secondary microphone for noise cancellation. And on the bottom side we see a pair of speakers, the Samsung proprietary connector and the main microphone. As you might have noticed, the tablet has an earpiece right here above its display and should technically be able to make and receive calls. However, whether the feature will be available or not will most likely depend on your wireless carrier. The Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 has a 7-inch display with a resolution of 1024 by 600 pixels, which is nothing spectacular, so you might notice some pixelation here and there. The display has been built using Samsung's very own PLS LCD display technology, meaning that in theory the tablet screen should be brighter than an ordinary LCD panel and should have better color reproduction without putting too much strain on the device's battery. Fortunately, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 runs Android Ice Cream Sandwich out of the box, so you don't need to wait for an update from Honeycomb. In addition, the interface has been tweaked using Samsung's very own TouchWiz UI. Providing the processing power is a dual-core chip clocked at 1GHz and backed up by 1GB of RAM. And although this unit here is just a prototype, we are pretty content with the fluidity of its interface. Since the tablet's stock internet browser supports Adobe Flash, you should be able to enjoy the web to its fullest. Other features that make surfing the web more convenient include uh, pinch to zoom, tap to zoom and tapped browsing. Text reflow did not work on this prototype unit, but we expect seeing it in the tablet's finalized version. The tablet's 3.2 megapixel camera is pretty basic, so one should not expect much out of it. It lacks uh, autofocus and LED flash. Yet still, the outdoor shots that we captured with it looked pretty usable, and same can be said about the 720p video samples that we captured. Of course, we will judge the camera's performance after we get our hands on a final unit. The Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 doesn't really offer anything extraordinary in terms of hardware, but it comes with a dual-core processor and ice cream sandwich out of the box, meaning that it should satisfy the needs of an average consumer. Besides, the device is quite an improvement over the very first Galaxy Tab model, and when you put it next to the rest of 7-inch offerings that are available on the market today, it is shaping up like a pretty decent tablet. We don't really know how much the 7-inch Galaxy Tab 2 will cost, but we expect it to be cheaper than the nearly identical Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus. Thank you for watching our video preview of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0. This is Nick, and if you'd like to check out any of our other smartphone and tablet reviews, just go to our website, phonearena.com.